am the Planetarium Curator at the Peoria Riverfront Museum and a science educator here. And I'm Shelby, and I am the Museum Learning Coordinator here at the Peoria Riverfront Museum. Today we're going to be showing you how to extract DNA from a strawberry. This is going along with our new exhibit called Genome Unlocking Life's Code. It runs from April 1st through May 29th. And in the exhibit, you're going to learn all about how the human genome plays a role in our everyday lives. This also is going to be what we do at our Gen Edics event on April 8th. It runs from 7 to 9. It's a museum after dark event where we will be doing science experiments like this one. Um, you're going to get to drink some lovely gin strawberry drink. We'll have a planetarium show that you can go to. You can explore the exhibit, and there'll be all sorts of fun things for adults to do at our Museum After Dark event. Now we're gonna get started and extract some DNA from strawberries. So we've already squished up some strawberries in a little baggie here. We use strawberries for this activity because of a genetic trait they have. Strawberries have seven chromosomes. Humans have 23 chromosomes, but we have two copies of those 23 chromosomes, one from each of our parents. Strawberries happen to have eight copies of their seven chromosomes, uh, which means they have more DNA in their cells than a lot of other plants or animals, and they're a good thing to use for this activity. So we've squished up our strawberries, we've pulverized our fruit, and now we have to get the DNA out of the cells. So to do that, we have some water, and I'm going to add some dish soap to the water. And the dish soap is needed because the cell walls that the DNA is, is inside of uh, are made out of lipids or fats. And we use dish soap to clean up fats or oils on our food. And so it's good for breaking down uh, the cell walls to get the DNA out. And now I'm adding some salt. The salt is necessary because uh, it helps the DNA clump together. So I'm going to mix that up. just a little bit of this to my strawberry mixture. Is that enough or do we need more? Oh, that is good. Okay. Now we're gonna mix it up a little bit more. So we'll mix it up, allowing the, the dish soap and the salt to break down those cell walls and the DNA to start clumping in this strawberry water soap salt mixture. Mm -hmm. And now let's strain out the solid food particles. So this is just a coffee filter and we'll use it to filter out the solid stuff and get just strawberry juice with DNA right, into our beaker. I do this with kids a lot and if you're going to try to do this at home, you just need to tell the kids to squeeze very gently here because it's really easy to break your coffee filter if you're not careful. Not only will we, do, we be doing this activity with our Museum After Dark folks who are coming to our genetics event on April 8th, but when school kids come to the museum to see our uh, genome exhibit, this is one of the workshops that we'll be doing with the kiddos. So now we've got water uh, and we've got our liquid in our beaker, and the last step is just to add some cold alcohol. And it's just rubbing alcohol, this is 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol and it helps precipitate out the DNA. It helps to kind of pour it on the side of the beaker so you don't disturb the liquid with the DNA in it too much. And you make a nice layer of it on top of your strawberry mixture. And in a few minutes, you'll start to see some white stranded material, and that is DNA. And we made some earlier so that we'd be able to show you right away. All that white stuff on top.
And here is what it looks like after you take it out. So that's it. We've just extracted DNA from a strawberry. This is something really fun so you can do at home. All these materials are probably stuff that you have at home. Or you can come and do it with us at Museum After Dark coming up on April 8th. Tickets are available for that event on our website, PeoriaRiverfrontMuseum.org. Or if you come with a school group and request a workshop, we can do that for you. Do that with your kiddos here too. Don't miss our Genome Unlocking Life's Code exhibit opening this weekend, April 1st.